Use the toothed forceps to very gently lift the skin edges and hold the skin when inserting the needle. Take a slightly larger bite than normal to start the vertical mattress suture. Insert the needle with the point at 90 degrees to the skin. Rotate the needle smoothly through the skin by supinating the forearm. Pick up the needle with the forceps and remount it on the needle holders in the correct position and pass it through the opposite wound edge, taking an equally sized bite. Hold the needle with the forceps and rotate it in the needle holder to prepare for the backhand part of the mattress suture. Now take a small bite approximately halfway between the exit point and the skin edge. Using the backhand technique, enter the needle at 90 degrees to the skin and rotate the needle through the tissue by pronating the forearm. Repeat on the opposite side of the wound from inside to outside. Pull the suture through and then tie a standard knot without excess tension. When tying the knot, make a double forward throw first by wrapping the suture twice around the tip of the needle holder. Grasp the end of the suture with the needle holder and pull it through the loops as shown. This is then followed by a single backwards throw around the needle holder. And again, the end of the suture is pulled through the loop as it slips off the needle holder. Add a single forward throw in the same way to complete the squared knot. Trim the ends and then continue with equally spaced vertical mattress sutures until the wound is closed. A horizontal mattress is where two stitches are placed in the same horizontal plane next to one another. This is ideal for everting the wound edges to facilitate optimal healing. To perform a horizontal mattress stitch, drive the needle horizontally across the wound as you would a simple interrupted stitch. Then, reload the needle. This is often done backhand. However, you may drive the next bite forehand if you have room to adjust and reposition your body. Advance a distance of about one centimeter away from where the needle exited. At the same distance away from the wound edge and at the same depth as the first bite, drive the needle across back to the other side. Tie the suture strands together and cut. 